Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. It has been a while. When I was putting this vlog together, I was like, I forget how to vlog. There was one week where I was just feeling really sick and I just wasn't feeling up to filming or vlogging anything. And then I found out about George Floyd and it didn't seem right to record. But I took the past couple weeks off to really just educate myself, to take a break from social media and it really benefited me, I feel like, and I will continue to be an advocate for Black Lives Matter. And on this video, I will be doing, you know, apartment stuff and pappy stuff and organizing, but at the end, I will be shaving Dean's head because we hit our fundraising goal of $50,000, which is amazing. And funny enough, Dean, we both really, we thought maybe we'd raise 10,000, 20,000. We did not think that we would hit $50,000, but we are so excited that we did. It's incredible as of today. It is at $53,000. Um, so at the end of this video, I will shave Dean's head because that's what we said we would do if we hit our goal and we did, which is amazing and you all are amazing, so thank you. This is one of my favorite breakfasts just because it's so easy and it's so yummy. The top two are cauliflower pancakes and then the bottom is vegan sausage and both are from Trader Joe's. So I'm getting ready for the day right now and I wanted to share one of my favorite things with you guys and that is the Vanity Planet Ultimate Skin Spa System and it comes in this perfect little travel case. I bring it everywhere I go and it has three different brush heads. So this one is the silicone brush head. This is best for sensitive skin and for those uh, battling with acne. This is the gentle exfoliating brush. I love to use this one occasionally. I don't use it every day. This is great for deeply exfoliating your skin and it helps with acne as well. And the one I use most often and the one I'll be using today is the Daily Cleansing Brush. I love this one. It's got soft bristles and this is going to lift away dead skin cells and debris that leads to breakouts. Once I touch that with my fingers, I just washed it thoroughly and then I'll use my cleanser. I do about three pumps of the cleanser and then I'll get my face wet. That's it, four minutes to cleaner and healthier skin. And I did want to note, this is suitable for all skin types. My skin gets very red very easily, but as you can see, there is not a lot of redness left over for this because it is gentle, but it's also moving debris from your skin. I love that this comes with three different brush heads and I love that it has this travel case. Dean and I just went on a van trip recently and even though we don't shower as often as we normally would in the apartment, I know that my skin is still getting very clean. And to get your Ultimate Skin Spa System at 70% off, click the link in the description box below and enter code CMKGLOW with two W's at checkout. I just got back from a hike and it reminded me how out of shape I am. I also tried out some new shoes on the hike and didn't go super well. And this is what happened. I just got back from Trader Joe's and I wanted to show you guys what I get. All of this is vegan. This is the best in pasta or for taco night. I'm super excited about this vegan mac. This is amazing with tequila to make a little margarita. Some great vegan sausage. I've never liked this. I get it almost every time I go to Trader Joe's. I always try it and hate it. But someone said put it in the air fryer and it's a lot better. So I'm going to try that. These are always good to have on hand just to mix with vegan sausage or vegan chicken. Cucumbers, kale, I'm gonna throw the kale in the air fryer as well. Trader Joe's has the best sourdough ever. And these, I am obsessed with their cauliflower pancakes, which are essentially just hash browns, but made with cauliflower instead of potatoes. And then I did get some potatoes. Peaches, green peppers, ancient grain blend, plantain chips, and that'll do it. This has been my new everyday bag, and I love it because anything bigger than this and I just carry too much stuff. It fits my wallet, my keys, my headphones, and sunglasses, and I feel like that's all I need. It's light, it's small, it's perfect. And I went to the container store today right before the grocery, and I got my jewelry boxes finally so I can organize my jewelry. So here is the jewelry box, and I love it so much. I love just being able to visualize everything. So 
this morning I finally decided to try and organize my swimsuits and I just got some containers from the container store so hopefully they work. So I got one of these and it's meant for ties but I figured I could stick a couple swimsuits in there. I got three of these. These actually ended up working better than I expected and I can just stick them in my closet stacked up and I kind of organized them by color. Some neutrals, the brights, and I guess more neutrals, kind of. I organized my swimsuits, I organized my jewelry, Oh, and I got two photos for the bedside table. So for my side of the bed, I printed a photo of Dean and Pappy, and for Dean's side of the bed, I printed a photo of me and Pappy. Here's the photo I printed of Dean and Pappy. This is taken in Oregon, and then I just got these frames from Target. And then Dean's side of the bed has me and Pappy. And this used to be in Dean's van, but he just moved it to the bedroom, so it kind of works. Oh, and I just got some trees that I'm super excited about. I got them from the Brentwood Farmer's Market. And I got these, so I took this in Venice, and I got it printed, and then this was just a stock photo I got from Unsplash. And these are going to hang above the bed. And I got them from Artifact Uprising, which is just so incredible. They print your photos, they can frame them, they do so many different things and have a lot of great gift ideas as well. This is one of the other trees I got. And this is my favorite tree. It is huge, but I love it so much, especially in the entryway. So the other day I took Pap on a hike and he just... He's older, so he couldn't go the whole way, so I had to carry him, and I was like, why don't we get him a backpack to carry him on hikes with? So I just got this. I haven't taken the tags off because I didn't know if he would like it, but he fits perfectly. What are you doing, little lady? You want to tell the people what you do? So the bedside table fell off last night. Dean shot up bed. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that, actually. <laughs> and Dean said, okay, 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 okay. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I was I sprung into action. I'm a springer. What can I say? I spring. I said, uh, I hope no one breaks in if that's your spot. What do you mean? No, I sprung into action. <laughs> I was ready to act. Not quite, but it's okay. It's okay. Just to clarify, this is what it used to be on Dean's side. And this is what it looks like now. So that's a bummer. Also, I have to repot this. I haven't done that yet. Finally getting to the light fixtures. Just another home project that Dean TaskRabbit Ungler is responsible for. Yes, yeah, so I hire TaskRabbit when you have a wonderful boyfriend. Before we uh, attach these wires, I just want to make it publicly known that I forget which one was the hot wire. <laughs> so this for the bedroom light too, and it worked out okay. He said this for the living room light, and it turned out okay, so I'm just gonna... Uh, Pray that this one is okay as well. Here we go. Well, this isn't actually the moment of truth, but the moment of truth to follow. This is bedroom light. I don't think I ever showed the living room light, but this is the living room light. There she is. <gasps> I got it right. Three for three. Yeah. I'm impressed. All right, so Dean is out right now buying a razor, a uh, buzzer. What is it called? A buzzer? Dean is out right now buying something for me to shave his head. It is happening. He has been trying to put it off and he was like, why did I say that? I'm so happy we raised $50,000, but he's definitely a little bummed. Two years of hair growth is now going to be gone, but it's going to be gone for a great, great cause. So I am going to shave Dean's head because we raised $50,000 for We The Protesters. If you donated, thank you so much. And we are also going to announce the winner of the camping trip and today is Sunday. This will obviously go up on a Monday so it won't be live but we're doing an Instagram live. So let's go shave my boyfriend's head.
what a day. What a day it's been. It's only 1 p.m. and it's already been a big day. So I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting We the Protesters. If you donated again, thank you so much. And we are super excited to go camping. Again, thank you for donating. Thank you for being supportive. And I'll see you guys next week.